away from there. Don't shoot, please. No. Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are going to die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down! This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises, for both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him, and so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go! We're getting off this rock. You humans. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the Council. I don't answer to the Council. Or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing! You humans have done far worse to the Batarians! We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. And how does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. That's why we attacked you at Elysium. That's why I'm doing this. You forced our hand! You attacked us first. When we retaliated, you ran off to the Council hoping for help. When you didn't get it, you hid. You've got no one to blame but yourselves. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it! I'm going to enjoy gutting you. <laughs> you humans think you're so superior. We're 
But you're no better than us. I gave you a chance to save them and you threw it away. <laughs> Who's the real terrorist here? You and I are nothing alike. You killed those people. You pushed the button. And now you'll pay for it. Go ahead, kill me. I'm not afraid to die, but know this. <coughs> One day soon, the human race is gonna pay for what it's done. <coughs> Damn it! <coughs> you think killing me will make a difference? The Batarians have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored, not anymore. There are thousands more like me waiting their turn, each one willing to die for our cause. And they chose you for this mission? Then I guess we have nothing to worry about. Believe what you want. When the vids flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? I'm through talking. Just kill me. Get it over with. You're not gonna die. We'll drop you off on Terra Nova and let Alliance officials deal with you. I doubt they'll be too friendly. <laughs> This isn't over! <coughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian Nation! <coughs> is it safe? Watch where you step. There were bombs, and there may be more. I need a sapper team to sweep the area. Right. I'll be careful. You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Have you found Katie and her team? I'm sorry, Simon. Balak took Kate and some others as hostages. There was a bomb in their cell and... You're, you're not kidding, are you? Oh, God. How could this happen? I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? Yes, I could have. If I let the Batarians go. But then they might have done the same thing to another colony. Or two more. Or a dozen. That doesn't... I know in my head what you're saying makes sense. It's just a little hard to see the big picture right now, alright? Shepard, thank you. For my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. 
What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. I'm already getting readings! This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. I'm telling you, I bought this here. A commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead, and I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. I would have helped if you'd just told me the truth. Perhaps you're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits, but I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the Conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. We're so close now. When we deliver everything, the Council will have to mobilize around us. 
If we could get the Council on our side, this could become a great opportunity for the Alliance. It's been a struggle, but we've earned their respect now. And you've been at the forefront even back in the Blitz. You'll probably get another Star of Terra out of this. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. You haven't had the easiest life, but I like the man it's made of you. Please, Commander, you'll make me blush. No, Bull Shepherd. I want to follow through with this. It's tough keeping it separated from duty. But when the mission's complete, it'll be different. I hope you feel the same, ma'am. That sounds nice. Careful. You'll distract me from saving the galaxy. It'll take care of itself one of these days. Or nights. Shepard, you are hard to step away from. We'll get this done, Commander. The sooner the better. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. We've got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. What's so important about curing this Genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the Genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army... He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. 
I'm always ready. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. Your request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the Captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the Ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. 
I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. <laughs>